TGX Ear Serratus. At least I think that's how you pronounce this. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I really want to talk about this because this is something special. Uh, I've never heard anything like this. Um, these are 300 ohms, so yes, you can run them on tubes, and they sound excellent on tubes. The cable is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, 4.4 termination. I need to talk about this. Okay, so let's just start off with, I had no idea an earbud could do this, so I'm still trying to figure out in my head, am I impressed because this is an earbud that's doing this? Or am I impressed because I'm impressed? You know, like, am I genuinely impressed with the sound? So I hooked it up to my multi-channel amplifier, volume matched it with the Monk KSC-75 and hyphen men Sundara because I wanted to, you know, I wanted to really, you know, put it to the test. I just want to talk about my experience with it. Let's start with the tonality here. Uh, bass, it's extended. Uh, it does roll off in the sub bass, but it's there. You can hear the sub bass. It's actually present. It has a decent amount of punch, uh, surprisingly. It does come off as like a neutral bright tuning. So more on the bright side, very much on the bright side. Mids are excellent though. Very clear, very, very clear. Um, to uh, like the treble, it's, uh, it's not, it's not peaking in any way that's causing me problems. The air seems to be well, like well done. Um, if, if you are someone sensitive to treble, I'd maybe advise against this because this does have a decent amount of it, but I don't mind treble if it's good quality treble. So I really, yeah, overall tonality, tuning wise, neutral, bright. I really like them. Um, technicality wise, great instrument separation. I, again, had no idea, but could do that. Um, soundstage is better than an IEM, uh, any IEM I've tried anyways. Um, I mean, overall, like technicalities, it's, I, I how, how, right? So, I mean, the first thing that intrigued me about this is that it's 300 ohms. Like that's something different. Like there's something going on there. Um, what, when I compare it to the Monk, the Monk has like heavy bass roll off, heavy treble roll off, and is like mostly like lower mid focused, I think. I don't know. Um, but this actually has treble and bass. Like this has a good treble extension and like decent, like good bass extension. Just, yeah, like, ha, what? Oh, okay. Um, so like, yeah, this, this, this gets muddied up in busy tracks. This doesn't like overall, like, but you would expect that because this is $200 Canadian. This is $20 Canadian. That's a huge difference, right? $40 Canadian, the cost KSC 75. Tonality, this has a better bass extension, better treble extension. Um, this comes off a little less intense in the treble, <laughs> surprisingly, but this has such good quality treble, I don't care. It just sounds so good. Like this sounds so crisp, so clear. So like technicality wise, it just, completely blows these away. These can't compete at all, not even close. And that's why I had to pull out the Sundara because I mean, I don't have any other earbuds of this caliber to compare this to. I, I have, it can compare it to, you know, maybe some IEMs, but I feel, I, I feel like it's just a better, I don't know, this might be a better comparison because it, it, when I was listening to, you know, different stuff, I was like, okay, no, I think this is the best comparison I can do here. Um, yeah, uh, overall tonality, mm, it's tough. It's tough. I almost lean this over Sundara. Um, the bass extension is about the same. This is a little bit more warmer in the bass lower mids. Uh, this is a little bit brighter in the, uh, upper treble, but like, Holy crap, um, instrument separation is so close, it's not even funny. Like, the Sundara are better, but, like, by how much? Soundstage is pretty on par. Um, holy crap. Just, like, what? Huh? Um, the one big thing here is, 
headphones, like they, they interact different, right? So like it's actually hitting your entire ear with that air and like the sound, right? So it is a better experience overall, a headphone, in my opinion. Uh, I, I prefer headphones for that reason. It just, I like how that, you know, that tactile experience, but that's also why I like these. I like these more than in-ear monitors in a lot of ways because this kind of sits outside the ear canal. So I'm getting some of that still, like I'm still getting some of that tactile experience, just not all of it. I get it from a headphone. So does that warrant the $200 price tag? Yeah, I think so. Actually, I, I, I do think that these, you know, they, they can compete with $200 Canadian products. I think it, I think it warrants the price tag. Um, that being said, should you go run out and buy this because I just hyped it up so much? No, don't. Don't do that. Try an MX500 shell first. Try something cheap. If you can get an MX500 shell to fit right and it, you can get it to sound okay and you like it, like if you like that kind of fit and whatever, then go for something like this. But if you've never tried an earbud before, you like MX500 shells can be hit and miss for some. If if you've never tried an earbud before, I would suggest trying something cheap like the Monk, which is still okay sound quality, especially given its price. These are cheap, 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 under 20 bucks. Try something like that if it fits, if you like that type of fit and you know you like like a neutral bright tuning, absolutely, can highly recommend these. Holy, holy crap. Um, I like these so much that they're going to be in my main rotation. So like Aeon Tune Noir, HD 6XX, um, Timeless, this, and KSC 75, and then True Wireless, of course, but like, that's my main rotation. These have entered my main rotation. That's how much I like them. And they're an earbud. I had no idea, not a clue, earbuds could do this. I'm a bud lever now, a bud lever. I'm, I'm going to leave it with, leave it at that. Um, thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Bye.